Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is the 28th of July. I have been running around like crazy trying to get my microphone to sound better. You will have to let me know how it's going. Um, I tried yesterday with the um, with the regular uh, microphone that's on the uh, iPhone because I'm using the iPhone to make these videos and it was very echoey right it sounded very echoey in the room and I went to all over the place looking for one and I finally found something that would work and so I'm testing this out to see how it is so you have to let me know if it works out I tried one of those rings that everyone has and it is I don't know first of all my glasses that reflects the ring so I look like I got two big circles in my eyes and it's just too much <laughs> I just couldn't do it <clears throat> so it's now sitting over there in the pile of other gadgets that I have um, currently not being used so today I am uh, ready to do our reading for those of you who don't know, my apologies, um, I am uh, Renee Olson. I am the News River Witch, and um, I'm going to do a daily draw for you. Um, this draw today is going to come from the River Witch Oracle. It is a deck that I created, uh, self-published, um, and it's available on my website at newsriverwitch.com. Uh, today is, nope, two more days left, today and tomorrow, in the 30% off sale. Um, everything on my website, including this deck and my um, my devotional deck to the goddess Hecate, um, the Crossroads Oracle, are available for 30% off, as well as all of my other services. Um, so certainly check that out. That's at uh, newsriverwitch.com. So let's get started. All right. So here's our card. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. And let's zoom in. There you go. Ooh, our card to, for today is turpentine. The key words for turpentine are healing, purification, and renewal. Now, <clears throat> y'all might be thinking, turpentine, isn't that paint remover? Lord, yes, it is. My grandma she had a bottle of turpentine up on the on the pie safe right so a pie safe is where you put pies to cool um so up on top of the pie safe is where all the the stuff was it should be out of reach of children and things were up there like oh i don't know turpentine alcohol mercurochrome cre emulsion um germ troll i might be saying words y'all don't understand <laughs> But that was all the, the medicines that my grandma had in her house. Um, she always kept the camphor next to the chair, though, because, you know, you need that for those mosquito bites. But turpentine was her go-to for sore throats, congestion. I remember being, I don't know, I had to have been in kindergarten or first grade. We were learning about, you know, poison control, little skull and crossbones on the bottle. And my grandma, the turpentine bottle, it's a little bottle about this big, and it had a little skull and crow's bones on the bottom. So for years, I thought my grandma was trying to kill me. I was like, oh my God, here we go. I had, I had chronic sore throats when I was a child. Um, I had my tonsils out because they were, I always, always get strep throat. And she would put three drops of turpentine in a teaspoonful of sugar every time I would have a sore throat. And I would have to swallow it. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to swallow a teaspoon of sugar, but it is not pleasant. Now, when you add that to a strep throat, as well as turpentine, it is extremely unpleasant. I don't recommend trying it, but every, I mean, I had sore throats all the time, and that's what I got. She would have me take that, and then she would rub the turpentine on my neck to help me with my sore throat. So that was the inspiration for this card. Um, 
She would get her turpentine from the local pharmacist. It was well known she would get her camphor from the local pharmacist. Everyone knew that this was a, a traditional home remedy. So that was the inspiration for the card. The here, healing portion is directly for that. And it's also related to turpentine comes from pine, uh, pine sap. So pine sap is, longleaf pine is traditional here in, it's our state tree, it's our, you know, in North Carolina. And um, everywhere, indigenous cultures here use turpentine or used pine sap to create uh, different medicinal properties, including turpentine. The next word is purification, and, and uh, the both words, pur purification and renewal. So what we're looking at here is focusing on the energy of this card to bring forward that healing energy of the, the plant and this particular medicine into your body. So if you're not someone who uses turpentine, now I will be quite frank, I have not used it as an adult because it was so awful, um, but you can certainly call upon the energy of the ancestors, the healing love of your grandmother who came in to help you. Um, if you don't have that connection with grandmother, find another either ancestor or adopt an ancestor, right? Find someone that you relate with, find someone that you connect with and pull in that healing energy of the card. Um, I hope you've enjoyed your reading for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Um, it is definitely becoming uh, a lot more familiar. And give me feedback on this microphone. You know, what do you think? Um, is it a good one? What are you using? Are you using anything? I'd love to hear. Um, so that's it for today. I hope that you have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.